Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayurvedam Veda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching Steady Ashtanga Hridaya series. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates on Samhita. In the last videos, we were discussing Dosha Upakramaniya Adhyaya and we have seen the management of Vata and Pitta Dosha. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access them. Moving with the same chapter, Vritha Kapha Chikilsa. How to manage the Kapha Dosha which is getting Dushti is being mentioned. Shleshmano Vidhina Yuktam Tikshnam Vamana Rechanam Annam Ruksha Alpa Tikshnoshnam Kadu Tikta Kashayakam Dirkha Kala Sthidam Madhyam Radhi Pridihi Prachakaraha Aneka Rupo Vyayamas Chinta Ruksham Vimardhanam Visheshat Vamanam Yushaha Kshaudram Metoknam Aushadam Dhuma Upavasa Gandusha Nisukhatvam Sukhayacha Shleshmano Vidhina Yuktam Tikshnam Vamana Rejanam Annam Ruksha Alpa Tikshna Ushnam Katu Tikta Kashayakam Dirkha Kala Sthidam Madhyam Radhi Pridihi Prajakaraha Aneka Rupo Vyayamaha Chinta Ruksham Vimardhanam Visheshat Vamanam Yushaha Kshaudram Medoknam Aushadham Dhuma Upavasa Gantusha Nisukhatvam Sukhaya Cha Shleshmano Vidhina Yuktam Tikshnam Vamana Rejanam Annam Ruksha Alpa Tikshna Ushnam Katu Tikta Kashayakam Dirkha Kala Sthidam Madhyam Radhi Pridihi Prajakaraha Aneka Rupo Vyayamaha Chinta Ruksham Vimardhanam Visheshat Vamanam Yushaha Kshaudram Medoknam Aushadam Dhuma Upavasa Gandusha Nisukhatvam Sukhayacha the management of uh, Kapha Dosha which has attained the Vritha Vasta or uh, Kopa Vasta, Tikshna Vamana Rechana. That is the strong kind of uh, Shothana Karmas should be given. Vamana and Virechana both can be administered and the uh, most important or the most best management or Shothana Karma which is suitable for the Kapha Dosha is Vamana. And uh, even though Virejana also helps in uh, eliminating the Kapha Dosha to a little extent. So the both Vamana and Virejana has to be done. Tikshna uh, line of management has to be administered. And Anna that is the food which should be consumed are which is Ruksha that is dry. Alpa in little quantity or limited quantity the person has to consume the food. Tikshna that is uh, which is having the Tikshna property of strong or penetrating property such kinds of aharas should be taken. Ushna, the food which is uh, having hot or uh, which is very uh, hot or warm food should be consumed. And Katu, Tikta, Kashaya. And the food should be having the predominance of rasas such as Katu, Tikta and Kashaya. So, based on the Shothana Karma or management side, Tikshna, Vamana and Virejana has to be administered. And the Ahara or the Anna which is Ruksha, Alpa, Tikshna, Ushna and Katu, Tikta, Kashaya, Rasa, Pradhana, Aharas should be consumed. Dirkha Kala Stidam Madhyam that is the old wine or the Madhya preparations which has been uh, very old such my, uh, Madhya should be consumed that is when this uh, old uh, the uh, Dirkha Kala Stida or when that uh, shelf life is increased or that after preparing so much of time it gets more and more uh, Tikshna property or uh, Madha property will be there that Tikshnata will be helpful for reducing the Kapha Dosha. Next is Radhi Pridi, that is the proper sexual activity should be done. Prajakara, keeping awake at the night. So this keeping awake at the night will be helpful in uh, reducing the Kapha Dosha. Aneka Rupa Vyayama. Vyayama helps in reducing the Kapha Dosha as well as it will be burning out the fat. So in conditions of Kapha Vritti, we have to go for different kinds of Vyayama. And Chinta. That is worry or a uh, lot of uh, thinking should be done. That is uh, when such things are being done, then Kapha Dosha will be getting decreased. Ruksham Vimardana. Mardana is the massaging of the body and Ruksha Vimardana has to be done. That is rough massage or dry uh, massage of the body should be done. Because uh, Shleshma or Kapha Dosha is having more of a Snigdha property. So in order to compensate that, we have to go for the Ruksha and Tikshna line of management. 
Visheshad Vamanam. So these all have been told about the general line of treatment. Next is the specific or the most important line of measure, uh, management for the Kapha Dosha is Vamana Karma. That is Visheshad Vamana. Vamana Karma is considered to be the uh, very uh, best Shodhara Karma uh, to cure the Kapha Dosha or to reduce the Kapha Vritti. So in such conditions uh, of Kapha Vritti, we can go for the Vamana Karma. That too, Tikshna Vamana should be done. Then is Yusha. Yusha is the preparation of soup like preparations using the different kinds of uh, grains that is uh, using the shali or sugar dhanya or shimbi dhanya we can produce the uh, soup like preparation that we call this yusha so this yusha helps in producing the kapha dosha so kapha hara dravyas has to be taken and with that dravyas the yusha has to be prepared and such yushas will be helping in reducing the kapha dosha next is kshaudra kshaudra is considered to be the best shamana aushadhi to reduce the kapha dosha so uh, kshaudra or madhu is considered to be having the property that is it is chedi and uh, also it is uh, good for the uh, shleshmahara properties are there so and also in obesity conditions such all things we can use this uh, kapha hara because of its kabhara property madhu is being used so madhu is considered or kshaudra is considered to be the best shamana aushadhi for kapha dosha Medoknam Aushata. As per the Ashraya Ashrayi Sambandha, Kapha Dosha is having more uh, relationship with the uh, Dhadus such as Medha etc. And whenever this Kapha Dosha is getting increased or Vritti of Kapha Dosha happens, it will uh, lead to the Vritti of Medho Dhadu also. So if we have to treat the Kapha Dosha or Medho Dhadu, then uh, both will be getting affected. So in conditions of Kapha Vritha Avastha, we can go for the management of Medho Dhadu also. So Medho Dravyas also will help in uh, reducing the Kapha Dosha. Similarly, if the Medo Dhadu is very much increased, uh, then such conditions we can go for the Kaphara line of treatments also will be helpful for the Medo Dhadu Vritti. So here Medo Knam Aushadam refers to the management of uh, reducing the methas, Medo Dhatu or the Dravyas and the management or the measures or treatment which helps in reducing the Medo Dhadu should be adopted in order to reduce the Kapha Dosha. Next is Dhuma. Dhuma Pana is considered to be the most important and effective management for reducing the Kapha Dosha. And uh, these are also of uh, different kinds, uh, especially the Ruksha kind of uh, Dhuma Pana has to be administered in conditions of Kapha Vritti. Upavasa, it is a type of Lenkhana and the Lenkhana or Apatarpana line of treatment is considered to be the best for the Kapha Dosha. And Upavasa or taking the fasting is considered to be the <coughs> most important uh, management which we can do in the conditions of kapha vritti next is gandusha gandusha means gargling of the medicated oil uh, or medicated water especially medicated oils or the snehadravyas will be kept inside the mouth and done the gargling so as the shiras is considered to be the kapha pradana uh, region or the seat of kapha dosha the whole head will be getting afflicted with different kinds of uh, kapha vikaras so this dhuma gandusha etc will be helping in reducing that kapha dosha so these can be administered in conditions of kapha vritta avastha nisukhatvam sukhaya cha so facing the difficulties so whenever a person is not having any chinta or worries or thinking or he is having a sedentary lifestyle then kapha dosha will be getting increased when no activities are being done physically and mentally no activities are present then that uh, inactiveness will be making a person uh, increase in the kapha dosha thus medo dhadu will be increased and the person becomes very stout or obesity will be produced so in such conditions when the kapha dosha is increased we have to advise the patient or we have to prescribe for going for the uh, kapha hara line of treatment especially nisukhatvam sukhayacha that is uh, facing certain difficulties or doing some activities certain uh, physical exercises or even uh, mental activities also has to be engaged thus all these activities will be helping in reducing the kapha dosha so whenever these activities are being more done then it will increase the vata dosha vata dosha and kapha dosha are having opposite or uh, reversely proportional that is uh, when this kapha dosha is increasing vata dosha will be getting uh, decreased so we have to 
try to increase the vata dosha or by that it will be helping in reducing the kapha dosha also so keeping awake at the night time or uh, thinking excessively or doing certain uh, um, activities physical activities or mental activities such all things helps in reducing the kapha dosha so such all activities should be done to reduce the kapha dosha when we are sitting idle, idle and not doing any activity both physically and mentally no actions are done or no activities are being done then such conditions will lead to the kapha vritti so in order to reduce the kapha dosha we have to go for certain kinds of physical and mental activities for that purpose uh, ajaryas has mentioned that we have to go for chinta and nisukhatva and similarly aneka vidha vyayama such all things has been mentioned उपक्रम पृथक् दोषान् यो अयुद्दिश्य कीर्ति संसर्ग सन्नीपादेशु तम यथास्व विकल्पये उपक्रम पृथक् दोषान् यो अयम उद्दिश्य कीर्ति संसर्ग सन्नीपादेशु तम यथास्व विकल्पये उपक्रम पृथक् दोषान् यो अयम उद्दिश्य कीर्ति संसर्ग सन्नीपादेशु तम यथास्व विकल्पये so here the different line of treatment for each dosha has been told individually that is how to manage the vata dosha pitta dosha and kapha dosha has been mentioned if the samsarga or sannipata avastha of these doshas are there accordingly we have to plan the treatment so individually each doshas when it attains the prakopa avastha how we can do the management has been mentioned in these three uh, shlokas and uh, in the three concept and if they are in combination if two co doshas are in combination or three doshas are in the combination then how to uh, do the management depends on the condition we have to assess what, which all doshas are involved how much grade that doshas are involved and based on that we should go for the management of that doshas based on the samsarga or sannipada we can go for the management so this is how we should go for the managing the three doshas vada pitta and kapha when it is getting dushti or when it is getting vritta then based on based on these uh, things we have to go for the management and management depends on the uh, severity of the symptoms with which the patient uh, presents today we have discussed a portion of doshopakramaniya adhyaya and will be continuing the same chapter in the upcoming videos For more updates on Samhita, make sure you subscribe the channel. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.